Today, you're going to learn about the number one digital marketing strategy that will help you convert more casual leads into profitable paying customers. How? By taking into consideration their stage of awareness. This is actually something that a lot of marketers neglect, but it's a huge mistake. Because if you take into consideration your prospect's stage of awareness, you'll be able to connect with them emotionally much more effectively and you'll be able to give them the right message at the right time so that they'll open their hearts and wallets for you. Hi, I'm Shaba, founder of Game of Conversions and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe because I'll be releasing videos such as this one regularly. Also, if you've heard about this stage of awareness concept before, leave a comment with yes below. If you haven't, leave a comment with no. So why do you actually want to invest time into discovering and taking into account these things? Well, in a nutshell, your job as a marketer or as an online salesman is to take someone from their current situation to their ideal situation. Now, unfortunately, this journey isn't always the smoothest. A lot of people don't even know that they have a problem or they don't know that they have a solution and they especially don't know about your solution and how they should uh, choose you. So your job is to identify your reader's current state and warm them up to their most aware state. If you can do that, then you'll be able to strategically deliver the right message at exactly the right time. And with that being said, let's take a look at these five stages of awareness. So first of all, you have unaware. And these people haven't yet identified that they have a problem. Either they're in denial or simply they just don't have information about a particular product. Now, the problem with unaware people is that most uh, direct response marketing campaigns aren't really effective with them. And that's exactly why the most effective way to target these people is with branding and with not direct response type advertising campaigns. For example, you can create certain blog posts or uh, case studies or uh, stories that uh, talk about a given problem and create some type of bridge between their situation and the story that you're talking about. So keep this in mind if you're dealing with unaware people, because if you're trying to run Facebook ads directly to them, chances are you're not going to be pretty successful. And the same goes for various special promotions as well. It's just not going to click. However, if you've worn them up a bit, then you can start to talk to people who are problem aware. And this simply means that these people have identified uh, a well-defined problem in their lives. For example, back pain or confidence issues or that they're not making enough money or something like that. And uh, at this stage, you already have something to work with. Lead magnets, for example, work really well with these types of people and any type of content that basically uh, helps them to better understand their problem and agitates it a little bit. Next up, you have solution aware people and they felt the pain. So they know that they have a problem, you've agitated it or someone else did at least. And they also know that some solutions do exist for this. But the problem is that these people are very professional in procrastination or they just, you know, I'll do it tomorrow, which means they're probably not going to do it until they're notched to do it. So dealing with solution aware people actually presents a lot of opportunities. And this is the place where you can already talk about your product a bit, but not too much. Because next up we have product aware people. And these people have already discovered that they have a pain, they know about solutions, and they already know about your solution as well. Now, they're not really sold yet at this point. However, you have a high chance of converting them if you highlight the unique selling propositions of your product and you really go deep into explaining what your benefits are. But this still doesn't guarantee the sale. And finally, the fifth awareness stage is most aware. And these people are your warmest leads, basically. They know about the problem, they know about potential solutions, they know about your product, and they're also interested in your product. And uh, you just basically need one thing to knock them off the fence, like a great promotion delivered at a great time. So uh, if you're thinking about remarketing ads, this is one of the best ways to do it. And this is why you need sales funnels, basically, to warm up people so that they eventually become uh, most aware and you can just deliver a strategical 
uh, discount basically and you can get them. So how can you leverage these five concepts in your own funnels as well? Well, check this out. If some people arrive on your page in their unaware stage, then uh, your job is to basically make them problem aware. And you can do this with a cool opt-in. If they're problem aware, then your job is to bump them up again to solution aware. And this is the best place actually to use an opt-in and any type of, uh, you know, lead magnet that solves a burning problem that they have is going to be a huge winner here. Just make sure that it's short. Next up, if they're solution aware, you should bump them up to product aware. And this is the place where you can actually start seeing some purchases. Or if you have a SaaS business, then sign ups. And the same thing is basically true for product aware and most aware as well. You always want to get them to their most aware, highest intent stage because this is the purchase. So let's see a few more specific examples on exactly how you can leverage this concept at each step of your funnel. So let's say that somebody lands on your page and they're most likely unaware. What can you do? Well, you can hook them with the story or case study of others who've also dealt with this problem. And this will help your reader basically uh, find out that they also have this problem and they will feel understood just a little bit, not too much, but this is the start of uh, basically the awareness stage of your funnel. For example, uh, if you're offering SEO services, then you can give them a nice case study of someone else who was uh, struggling to get traffic, for example. But what happens if your uh, visitor is problem aware? Well, actually, most visitors are in the problem aware phase, uh, especially when they're, uh, you know, just searching around Google. And if they land on your landing page, then the best way to hook them is to highlight their problem, call it out and actually agitate it. But don't just leave it like that. Offer a solution and this solution will actually be your lead magnet. So do you see the connection here? Good. Now, if someone's solution aware, then that means that they know about the problem and they're looking for solutions. And these are the people who are searching for long tail keywords on Google, for example. So you can leverage this by creating a post or a landing page that talks about the unique aspects of your solution because they know that solutions exist. They're just searching for the right one and you can hook them with uh, highlighting some cool benefits of your solution. And finally, your best case scenario is to have most aware people and hooking them is easy. You just have to give them a promotion. So it's safe to assume that these people are actively looking for discounts. Uh, for example, around Black Friday, a lot of people are searching for various stuff and they are searching for specific discounts. So in these times, uh, you should aim your uh, campaigns in a way that serves most aware people and you can pretty much uh, ignore problem aware people, for example. If you've watched this far, you're awesome. By now, you know about all five stages of awareness. But before you go, I want to give a few extra tips for you just so you can make the most out of this. First of all, what these stages of awareness actually mean for your assets in your funnel? Well, in case of landing pages, you can easily customize them so that they only cater to a specific type of audience. Instead of a single homepage, for example, you can create four different types of landing pages. One for product aware, one for uh, solution aware, one for problem aware, and one for most aware. And all you have to do is to just make some slight variations in the copy and especially the hook, just like I mentioned before. Now, regarding your paid advertising, you should know that most ads that go out to cold audiences should be aimed at uh, problem aware or solution aware people. So unless you're doing some sophisticated retargeting uh, campaigns, make sure to write copy that uh, highlights a problem, agitates it and offers some sort of solution, but don't go all in on the solution. Uh, let them click because they're gonna be curious hopefully and then let the landing page handle the next stage of this awareness phase. And what about sales pages? Well, I'm glad you asked because this is one of those cases where you can truly see the true value of the sales page. And the main role of a sales page is to get someone from basically any awareness and gradually bump them up with the sales message from even unaware to most aware. 
and a cool long-form sales page can definitely do this. If you want to learn more about sales pages, I have another video that is basically an in-depth case study breaking down a long-form sales page. Uh, check it out because you're going to learn a lot of persuasion and copywriting tips from it. I'll leave a link just above this video. So all in all, how can you make the most out of these stages of awareness? First of all, you should ramp up your content marketing efforts to unaware people with posts that basically help them identify a problem. Then you should run PPC ads for problem aware and solution aware people. And I'd say most of your landing pages should be in the solution aware phase. Now, once people subscribe to your email list, the aim of your email campaigns is to get them from uh, late problem aware or early solution aware to product aware stage. And once they click through from your sales emails to a sales page, then the sales page's job is to get them to the most aware phase and get them to buy. If you can do this, you're golden and you're going to see a huge boost in conversions. I guarantee it. So that's it. I hope you enjoy this video. If you're still not a subscriber, make sure to subscribe to the channel because you'll be the first to know uh, when I release another video such as this one. Also, leave a comment below on what resonated with you the most in this video. And if you want to learn more about conversion optimization and digital marketing, check out some of my past videos. I'll leave a few links after this. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Take care.